Hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is David and in today's video I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to create TikTok ads. By the end of this video you'll have a very good understanding of all of the different settings because I'll run through them together by creating a dummy campaign with you. I'll talk about things like campaign objectives and how to set them up. We'll go ahead and talk about the different settings in your ad group, how you can go ahead and choose your placement and the different targeting settings and then I'll go ahead and show you how you can create your ad right here with all of the different settings involved. And I'll even go ahead and show you the different settings in your dashboard, your campaign builder, and all of the different tools involved. So if that interests you, then stick around, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. Now, the very first thing we need to go ahead and do is create a TikTok for business account where we can manage and create our ads. Now, to create this account, we just have to go to ads.tiktok.com. I've added a link in the description, which you can click, which will take you to this page right here. You can go ahead and press get started to create your account. Go through this process right here. So once you've created your account, you'll be directed to a page that looks like this or similar to this, depending on when you're watching this tutorial. And right here, TikTok is asking us to create a campaign. Before we create this campaign, I want to show you some of the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and actually exit the campaign builder by pressing this dashboard option right here and pressing exit. So once we do that, we'll be directed to this page over here, which is the main dashboard for TikTok's ad manager. And over here, you can go ahead and set up some missing information about your profile, like billing info and payment details as well as take a look at some important links. For example, over here, if we click this view more option, we can see the best performing ads on TikTok in the last 30 days. So we can see that this is what it looks like. We have all of the ads that are performing well in Canada and I can filter through them using these different settings. Similarly, if I go back over here, I can go ahead and click this potential audience option by clicking this view more. And by doing that, it will take us to a separate page where we can go ahead and figure out our targeting for our ad campaign using all of TikTok's filters right here. So these are the links that are available to us through our dashboard. It's important to note that we can even access these links using our analytics tab right here. So that's why using your actual dashboard isn't very important because a lot of the stuff here is available to us on different settings in the ad manager platform. That being said, I want to spend a lot of time in our campaign setting right here. So let's go ahead and select that. So once we do that, we'll be directed over here, which is our main campaign builders dashboard. Here is where you create your campaigns. Here's once your campaign is created, you see all of your results. And over here, you can go ahead and tweak and pause and delete campaigns. So we can see right here, I have a draft campaign created. Once you have your own campaign, it will be available to you. And then right here, we have the different metrics for this campaign once it's live. You can go ahead and actually even change these metrics by pressing this columns option and choosing a different view. So for example, if I want to see reach, I can go ahead and select that and my metrics change. Here you have your date range that you can go ahead and see your results for. So you can go ahead and see lifetime results and you can even go ahead and see past seven days, yesterday, so on and so forth. Now, once we have this understood, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create campaigns. So we can see right here, we have campaigns, ad groups and ads. Now, every time you create a TikTok ad, it needs to be associated to an ad group. Every time you create an ad group, it needs to be associated to a campaign. So the first thing you're going to create is a campaign. Within that campaign, you're going to create ad groups. Within those ad groups, you're going to create specific ads. So with that in mind, now we can go ahead and actually press the create option right here. And when we do that, we'll be directed over here, which is the first step where we go ahead and set our campaign's objective. Now, depending on the objective you select for your campaign, the steps might change a bit just because there are some added steps, for example, for lead generation objectives versus just traffic or reach. But generally speaking, everything I talk about is very similar. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and select traffic as an example and then go ahead and give my campaign a name. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is a watch campaign for North America users. OK, where it says special ad categories, you can go ahead and ignore this. This is only if you're creating ads based on housing, employment or credit. We're not doing any of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore it here. You can go ahead and create split tests like A-B tests if you want. I'm keeping that disabled for now. And then over here where it says campaign budget optimization. If you go ahead and enable this, you're basically telling LinkedIn that, hey, you can optimize my campaign budget as best you think. OK, so it'll use this AI and so on and so forth. But I generally think that having more control of your campaign budget, especially if you're a beginner, makes a lot of sense. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And right here where it says set campaign budget, we're going to go ahead and keep this disabled because we'll set this up in our ad groups and ad. So just go ahead and use these settings for now. Make sure you have a good campaign name and press continue. So once we do that, we're now in step number two, where we have to create our ad group, which once again is contained within a campaign. So for here, we're going to go ahead and call this ad group men's watches. And now where it comes to the optimization location, where do you want to send your traffic? I'm sending it to my website. 
and then I can go ahead and scroll down to where it says placement. Now, when it comes to placement, I recommend you select the select placement option, and then you can go ahead and choose exactly where your ads should be shown. Generally speaking, I think just keeping it on TikTok makes the most sense. So I'm going to go ahead and actually disable both of these options. And that is what I recommend for most people. When it comes to your advanced settings over here, TikTok is asking you, do you want to let people comment on your videos, download them and share them? I generally keep my comments on. I actually disable video downloads because I don't want people to easily download my ads and then steal them. And I keep allow video sharing on. Once you have these settings in place, we can scroll down to where it says targeting. Now, when it comes to targeting, this is where a lot of your work is done because this is where you get to choose exactly who sees your ads. Once you create custom targeting, you can even save it. And then in the future, you'll have your saved audiences available to you over here. So the very first thing we can go ahead and change is our location. Because this is a North American campaign, I'm going to go ahead and add the United States in here. And then once we have our two countries in place, you can go ahead and choose the age range for your particular campaign. I want to go ahead and actually target people that are young professionals so 25 to, let's say, 54. Gender, I'm going to go ahead and select male for myself. And then every time I make a change over here, we can see on the right where it says available audience, the numbers change. Okay, so the narrower you make your targeting, the narrower this number becomes. The broader your targeting, the bigger this number. So once I have my gender stuff completed, I can go ahead and scroll down here. Language, because this is a North American campaign, I'll just go ahead and keep it at English for now. When it comes to your spending power, you can go ahead and choose exactly who's going to be shown your ads. If you select high spending power, this is going to basically target people that TikTok things generally spends more on products on their platform. Because I'm selling watches, I'm going to go ahead and actually keep this option on. Household income, you can go ahead and choose exactly who you want to target. For now, I'll just keep it at all. But again, if you have luxury products, you can go ahead and choose top 5%, top 10%. Or if you want to go ahead and sell cheaper products, then you can go ahead and select these options right here. Okay, so once you have your household income in place, you can now scroll down to where it says audience. And you can go ahead and select right here. If you have a saved audience, you can choose over here and just put it in. For now, I don't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it. I'm going to go to the interest and behavior section right here. So right here, we can see that TikTok has a bunch of different categories available to us for us to choose from to narrow our audience. For example, you can narrow it based on financial services if you're selling that, on tech and electronic, and all kinds of different things are available to you here. It's very comprehensive. You can even just go ahead and type in your product right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in watch and see what comes up. And we can see right here, we have all of these different additional interests available to us. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep watches for now. Keep it very broad. And we can see that now my target has become two to three million. You can go ahead and add as many interests and behaviors as you want. I'm just going to keep this as is. Then over here, we have our devices. So exactly who do you want to target based on what device they own? If you want to target people based on their Android device, iOS device, and all kinds of different settings are available right here. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this as is. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my particular audience. So I'll just go ahead and call this watches men and a and press save. And then once I save this particular audience, I can go ahead and see it right here. If I scroll up back over here, we can see it's in my saved audience section and I could use it in the future and never have to do all of this work. Okay, so that's the advantage of saving your audience. So once you have all of this stuff in place, we can now scroll down to where it says budget and schedule. And here you can go ahead and choose a budget for your campaign. So here I can go ahead and say that, okay, my lifetime is going to be, let's say $500. That's how much this campaign is going to spend on a lifetime basis, or you can go ahead and have a daily budget. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it at lifetime for now. You can go ahead and set up your schedules. And then you can even go ahead and tell TikTok that, hey, I want my ads to run all day evenly. Or you can go ahead and select specific times where you want your ads to run when you think your customers are more active. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at all day. And the optimization goal, I'm going to keep it at click, very straightforward. And then right here, it says cost cap per click. So over here, you can go ahead and put in a maximum cap that you want to put per click. So how much you want to spend maximum on a click? You could say, for example, $5. And TikTok is saying that we aim to get the most results while keeping the average cost per results around or lower $5 per click. All right, so you can go ahead and set that up if you want and then press the continue option. Now, finally, over here, we can go ahead and set up our ads. This is the final step in the process. So just go ahead and give your ads a name. Again, I'll just call this men's watches. And then right here, we have this identity section. So here it says, use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. Now, Spark ads work like this. You can basically partner up with a TikTok influencer and have your ads be promoted on their TikTok pages. The way that they work is you can go ahead and enable this. And then you can go ahead and reach out to a particular TikTok influencer and tell them, hey, I'm running this ad. Let's connect your particular account. 
to my ad and then my ad will be shown on your post on TikTok. For this case, I'm just going to go ahead and disable this. I'm just going to run an ad on my particular content, no TikTok influencer involved. Okay, so once we have all of that selected, you can go over here to where it says set custom identity. So right here, you can go ahead and deliver your ads with a custom profile image and display name. So you can go ahead and create that over here. You can go ahead and put in a logo and a name right here. So I can just say Meta Media and put in a new logo and press create. And then when I do that, this is basically the ad name we can see right here. It will show up every time my ad is promoted. So once you have your custom identity selected, you can go ahead and now put in your ad format details. So right here, TikTok is asking you, do you want to create a single video ad or a carousel image ad? If you select carousel, it's basically the different pictures that will show up in a rotating fashion. You can go ahead and choose that and then upload them all right here. Or you can just go ahead and upload a single video. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and scroll down right here and put all of the different things in place in terms of your text, your call to action. And then over here, you have the interactive add-ons available. So let me go ahead and just fill this out very quickly so that I can show you what it looks like once it's all completed. So here we are, everybody. I went ahead and added some basic information on my ad. So we can see I have this video that I went ahead and chose from an online platform. It's a very basic video, which I uploaded. I went ahead and added some text called best watches on TikTok. And we can see it right here. I went ahead and chose the call to action shop now. There's multiple different call to actions you can choose from over here. And then I went ahead and added this interactive add-on option. So here you can go ahead and add things like website info cards, which show up right here. And you can just press this edit option right here. And you can go ahead and choose all of the different settings available to you over here. So for example, you can put in all of your selling points. So you can add things like money back guarantee, the free shipping, and it will just show up right here where it says view, where people can get more information about why they should buy this particular product. So once you have that done over here, you can go ahead and choose exactly where you want to send people. In my particular case, I'm sending them to my website. So I just chose URL. Destination URL, just go ahead and put in your particular URL and press preview if you want to see what it looks like. And then you can go ahead and ignore this option. If you want to go ahead and give people a disclaimer, you can choose that and then add it right here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that for now. And then if you have any AI generated content, you have to just let TikTok know by selecting this option. In my case, there's no such thing like that. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. And then once you have all of these settings in place, you can go ahead and skip this tracking option. This is just conversion tracking. If you want to have that set up, you can put that here and press the publish all option. So once you have that done, your campaign will be created and then TikTok will just review it. Once it's been approved, it will go live to all of your different target audiences. So on that note, everybody, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you create TikTok ads from scratch. I hope this video helped you. If it did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more marketing content like this, then check out my channel. I've made videos on things like Facebook ads and Google ads. So check those out. That being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.